A sunken secret continent lies beneath Europe and parts of Germany. This secret world exists hidden in the depths of the earth beneath our feet, and in this video we take a look at fascinating maps and explain what this continent is all about. So please stay tuned until the end and welcome friends. A sunken continent under Europe, what a world. If you are as fascinated by such topics as I am, then why not subscribe to the channel right now? Subscribing is absolutely free, you will never miss a video again, and you will help me immensely, thank you guys. While Atlantis remains a myth to this day, there is scientific evidence for the existence of a real sunken continent. Greater Adria's, and it is slumbering under our feet. Jules Verne couldn't have made it up better, but we are not in the realm of literary fiction here. This sunken continent really exists. Let's take a closer look at the incredible story. Today, most people would agree that there are six continents on Earth. America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Oceania, and Antarctica. According to other definitions, North and South America should be considered separately, while yet others see Eurasia as a single continent. So as we can see, the exact definition of the continents is disputed, as we can also see in the table of different counts on Wikipedia. Please let me know in the comments how you learned about the continents at school. Six continents, seven continents, but regardless of how many continents you count, they all have something in common. They used to be part of the supercontinent, Pangaea, which then eventually differentiated into the large continents of Laurasia and Gondwana. Almost 200 million years ago, the whole thing looked like what you can see on the map here. And by the way, the continents will probably return to this form again. It is assumed that a new supercontinent will emerge in 200 to 300 million years time, which has already been named Pangaea Proxima or Pangaea Ultima. 200 to 300 million years, that will be just before the time when you will still be receiving a pension payment. But anyway, let's stay in the past and go in search of the sunken continent of Greater Adria. To understand the geological history of this lost continent, we have to go back in time to when the tectonic plates of the Earth were in a different configuration. About 240 million years ago, Greater Adria was part of the huge supercontinent Gondwana, which also included Africa, South America, Australia, India, and Antarctica. In the Triassic period, Greater Adria began to separate from Gondwana and migrate northwards, this landmass, which was about the size of Greenland, was largely covered by a shallow tropical ocean. The conditions were ideal for the formation of coral reefs and sedimentary rock, which can be found in the mountain ranges of southern Europe today. During the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, Greater Adria moved further north until it finally collided with the Eurasian Plate around 120 million years ago. And this collision between the Greater Adriatic and Europe was a slow but powerful process that took place over millions of years and is still felt today. The lead author of the study in which the Greater Adriatic was described, Doe van Hinsbergen from the University of Utrecht, says, Forget Atlantis. Every year, countless tourists spend their vacation on the lost continent of Greater Adria without even realizing it. The effects of these tectonic collisions are particularly visible in the mountain ranges of southern Europe. Parts of the sedimentary layer of Greater Adria were scraped off during the collision and pushed up into mountains. This led to the formation of the Apennines, parts of the Alps and the mountains in Croatia, Greece and Turkey. Here, for example, you can see overhanging limestone plates in the Taurus Mountains in Turkey, clear remnants of the lost continent. So anyone who goes hiking in southern Europe this summer will probably be walking through the scrapings of Greater Adria, like dried, scraped skin scales on the face of Mother Earth. What am I talking about? But Greater Adria is not only hidden under southern Europe. On this map, you can see that large parts of the entire continent lie over this lost continent. However, the European mountains are only a small part of Greater Adria. Most of the remains have been pushed into the Earth's mantle. The process of subduction, in which one tectonic plate is pushed under another, caused the continental crust of Greater Adria to sink to depths of up to one and a half thousand kilometers. Today, these remains can be traced using seismic waves, and scientists can then find out more about these mysterious structures in the depths of the planet. Just imagine, the remains of a lost continent lie dormant at a depth of more than a thousand kilometers. I find that super fascinating, and I'm not sure whether it's more Jules Verne or H.P. Lovecraft. Cthulhu rises from the eternal dark depths of the Earth's crust and awakens from his cosmic sleep. Something like that. But how did the researchers actually find out about it? It was that easy. Dawu van Hinsbergen says, It's a geological mess. Everything is bent, broken, and stacked. By comparison, the Himalayas, for example, represent a fairly simple system. There you can follow several major fault lines over a distance of more than 2,000 kilometers. The geologists have collected a lot of data on movement in the Earth's crust. 
such as faults and the magnetic properties of the rock. Using special software, they have used this information to trace the plates back in time, step by step, and were thus able to reconstruct the shape and size of the lost continent. It almost failed due to bureaucracy. Van Hinsbergen reports, This is not only a large region, but it also contains more than 30 countries. Each of these countries has its own geological survey, its own maps, and its own ideas. Research often stops at national borders, so the region is not only fragmented from a geological point of view. If the Earth's history had taken a slightly different course and the subduction had taken place in reverse, we would be living in the greater Adriatic today and Europe would be slumbering deep below our feet. That's how it can go. And by the way, the greater Adriatic is not the only lost continent that we know of. A few years ago, researchers discovered something very similar in the Indian Ocean. Mauritia, a sunken continent discovered under the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. This continent is also a remnant of the primeval supercontinent Gondwana. When Gondwana split up, Mauritia broke up and sank mostly below sea level. Researchers found evidence of its existence by discovering ancient zircon minerals in the lava of Mauritius that are up to 3 billion years old. These finds show that old continental crust materials lie under the relatively young island of Mauritius. Professor Lewis Ashwell, who was involved in the research, says, The fact that we have found zircons of this age proves that there is much older crustal material under Mauritius, which can only come from a continent. And then there's Zealandia, a long, narrow microcontinent that is mostly submerged in the South Pacific and also includes the territory of New Zealand. In New Zealand, you often hear people say that they actually live on their own continent. Now we have Greater Adria, Mauritia, Zealandia, so you start to wonder what else is slumbering in the Earth's interior. More microcontinents. Lovecraft monsters, my lost socks, it's definitely going to be exciting. And discoveries like Greater Adria or Mauritia show that the world under our feet still holds many secrets that are waiting to be uncovered. By the way, feel free to write to me and tell me what you would name a microcontinent if you ever found one under your house. Who knows, if we dig deep enough, we might find something I would call my microcontinent Greater Colonia in reference to my hometown of Cologne. Of course, I will keep you up to date on all future research results, so be sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell now. Let's move on to another exciting topic on Earth. Our planet is currently undergoing a very mysterious change. Something is happening to it and it has something to do with the movement of the solar system through the galaxy. What exactly we can expect and how this will affect our lives can be found out in the video shown at the top right, so be sure to check it out. As always, please feel free to visit the Astro Shop, otherwise I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends!